Good afternoon, all you lovely people, and welcome once again to the official topic talk. Please like, subscribe, share, and hit the notification button so every time I produce a video, you'll get a notification. First off, I want to uh, I want to thank uh, Emma Copperell, um for coming on last night um, to talk about um, a subject um, that she had gone through in her life. Very, very, very harrowing and very deep to the traumas um, that the two dirty, nasty, hideous predators put her through in her life and you know she's still suffering um, from the effects of the abuse that um, these two predators put her through and she will be suffering for the, the, the rest of her life because of the traumas that um, she went through so a massive 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 shout to Emma Cockrell um, a very 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 strong lady inside and I put her courageous courage um, alongside Dot um, who recently spoke up about her abuse that um, she went through at the hands of uh, Dicky Hickey you know they're both two brave ladies and I praise Emma for being able to speak up about the experiences um, at the hands of her abusers so massive respect to you Emma now that leads me on to Something that happened to me yesterday, um, I was out at a car boot in Wolverhampton and um, a couple um, that was browsing around the stall, um, I recognised the, the lady from Telford, and bearing in mind we was in Wolverhampton you know, which is a bit of a distance from Telford. And they asked if they could uh, give me a leaflet. And I said, yeah, sure. And after reading the leaflet, which is up on the screen now, guys, is the leaflet um, that this lovely couple handed to me. And on the leaflet was highlighting um, a prolific sexual offender from Telford and I did hear about um, I did hear about this this nasty character um, a few months back it got brought to my attention and the guy's name is uh, Kyle Wood and he's 19 years of age and he lives at Wagner's Fold, Mellingsley, Telford. And the reason why I want to speak openly about this um, is to highlight the type of nasty individual people, you know, that are out there in society. And Mellingsley is not too far from where I am. You know, it'll probably take me about five ten minute drive um to get there and to think that you know these nasty fucking dirty characters are you know on my doorstep and i'm wanting to highlight this um he's 19 years of age and after speaking to this lovely couple it re i realized that you know um I've got more in common with them than what I'd thought 
um, but I'll go into that um, at a later date and I had a good conversation uh, with the couple and bearing in mind it was their daughter um, that went through the abuse at the hands of this Kyle Wood he's convicted he's charged and he pled guilty in court and as a sentence for ruining a 13 year old child's life he received a sentence that is nowhere near equal to um, you know to, to the years um, of trauma that you know this this young child's gonna gonna be going through you know it was something stupid like um, 50 hours of community service something like that but I'll get on to that in a little bit but the touching thing about this story I'm about to explain to you is the um, enabling of what his parents did and his parents are backing him to the hill. Uh, even though they know he's guilty and he's done it. They made some hideous comments to the young child. Which um, I'm going to read to you now. Um, this is going back June 2022. So it's not too, it wasn't too far away. Um, and I had heard about this and um, now I've had contact with um, the family of the victim in this case. So we have pervert avoids prison after committing multiple sex offences. Now, you know, what's got me on all this is the reaction of his parents, you know, is, is, is just as bad you know, as what Kyle Wood put this 13 year old girl through. A man has avoided a prison sentence after grooming and engaging a 13 year old girl into sexual activity and possessing indecent images of children Numerous of these images were taken of the victim. Kyle Wood, 19, of Wagner's Fold, Mallingsley, Telford, appeared at Shrewsbury Crown Court to be sentenced after pleading guilty to four counts of sexual activity with a female child, three counts of possessing indecent images of children, the court was told that Wood, who is unemployed, groomed the 13-year-old victim he had befriended and manipulated. Wood pressured the girl into sexual activity and warned her not to tell anyone. He was also convicted of possessing indecent images of children, some of which he had taken of the victim. The prosecution told the judge that Wood had breached a previous restraining order by contacting the victim which led to continued abuse. The judge sentenced Wood to a community order and 55 days rehabilitation. A five year restraining order was put in place and he was told to register as a sex offender for a period of up to five years. Now this is the part that's made me absolutely angry and it's made me react, um, you know, to this case because, you know, after speaking to the family um, yesterday, you know, I, I had to try and do something, um, you know, which I'm going to stay in contact with the family. Lovely couple they are. Now. Wood's family were in court to support him. They laughed and joked 
after the sentence handed down and in the direction of the victim his mother could be heard saying you've got to be pathetic to make lies like this up now I'm sorry people but their son pleaded guilty to the charges all charges that was put to him but yet the mother made comments directly in the face of the 13 year old girl and said something stupid like you've got to be pathetic to make up lies like this now is this mother deluded you know for enabling her son's one thing you know but but then to say that the 13 year old girl was pathetic for making up lies is she totally deluded you know when her son's pleaded guilty to the offences committed against a 13 year old child I mean I'm sorry people but you know something something had to be done you know because the family wasn't only just supporting him they they were also enabling him I know in the world that some people you know some some mothers have got the old traditional ways of um, but he's my son I'll do anything for my son but I'm sorry people but you can't defend or stick up for your son when he's been involved in such dirty hideous crimes against a child you know and after speaking to the, the parents of the victim and them explaining to me that you know she's she's so frightened to come out of her room you know let alone leave the house because he's made threats um, against the 13 year old child and also um, against the parents um, you know I, I I couldn't just sit back you know no, knowing that it's a stone f probably 50 stone throws away you know from where I live and it had been brought to my attention um, previous probably um, three months ago you know so I didn't just ignore the fact um, to what I had been told it was a, it was a case I was sitting back you know and just and, and, and waiting and then after I um, met the parents of, of, of the the child uh, yesterday um, while at the car boot which wasn't in Telford it was in Wolverhampton it 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 just shows you you know um, it don't just affect uh, the young child it affects the parents because for them to have to have leaflets produced and distributing them um, around Wolverhampton especially at the car boot sale where you know a heck of a lot of people go to they they're at their wits end um, as to bring in awareness to Kyle Wood and his dirty behaviours um, you can imagine what's been going through um, their minds and wanting to bring the awareness to to this person Carl Wood for what they've put um, their 13 year old child daughter through you know it's you know it's terrible but when it happens right on your own doorstep and you know that you sat back and you, you know there's nothing you can do there there is something you can do it's, as these parents are proving you know leaflet distributing to bring in awareness um is the right thing to do 
So he's been lit up like a Christmas tree. In Telford, and also in the surrounding areas, in this case Wolverhampton. So when people sat back and asked me, is Dodgy Dave doing the right thing? Then yes, because he's helping to bring awareness. The same as what this, this couple have done to bring awareness of the fact that this guy, Kyle Wood, is able to go around and abuse young children. But what made me more angry and what made me react and get off my sofa and um, do something about this is, is the fact that Kyle Wood's parents made hideous comments in the face of the 13 year old child calling the 13 year old child pathetic and making up lies after they knew full well exactly what their son had done to the 13 year old girl I mean I don't know what's coming round in this world um, but I'm glad that I've got to speak to the family and like I say I will keep in contact um, with that family so thank you for listening people um, as it's awareness Sunday um, this video fits fits in quite well with my uh, awareness Sunday service so thank you for listening to this guys and just remember be it a child that's going through um, abuse of the hands of uh, dirty predators or be it a woman that's being abused by their husbands or boyfriends or complete strangers you know please speak up you know, please get your, your message out there. Talk to a friend. Talk to your doctor. You know, but talk talk to anybody about this, you know. There, there, there is the help out there. And people are out there to listen. So, thanks guys for, for listening to that. And um, until the next one, take care guys.